Good morning, everybody. This is not Japan anymore. This is South Korea, so maybe I should say Bongiorno. What am I doing here? So we have this project that kind of gave me a reason to come here. I didn't have to come, but I decided I would help out. Long story short, I'm in Korea for a few days. I really like this feeling when you change your environment and you're fr you have a fresh set of eyes for a new city and you're just getting high off of noticing all the small, small details. To me personally, this feeling vanishes after two or three days, so cherish it. So you might not realize that, but Korea and Japan, they're actually pretty close to each other on the map. It's a two-hour flight, so when you live in one of these countries, it's always easy and fun to visit the other one. So I visit Korea regularly. It's my second time this year. Well, the previous one was the Pyeongchang Olympics, so that was something else. That was a project we did. That's a real shame. All these videos are geo-blocked. We made really cool content during the Olympics this year, but unfortunately only people in Europe see it. It sucks because I can't even brag about it to people in other countries. Anyway, this area is called Dongdaemun. There's a lot of shopping centers here. By shopping I mean clothes. And by clothes I mostly mean contraband. <laughs> or overwhelming amounts of off-brand stuff. It doesn't matter. I'm not that much into that. <laughs> but I am into appreciating architecture and the arts. <laughs> This is DDP, Dongdaemun Design Plaza, one of the most famous buildings in Seoul, designed by the late Zaha Hadid. This building is so nice. It's one of the best buildings. With every new episode of me speaking English, there's a new round of discussion of whether I should be speaking English or not. Let's just let it go for now, please guys. Let's just let's just accept this. Throughout June, this channel's going to be in English except for Warstad Gunchaja, the other series. Just let it go. I would also like to support all the people who are saying I should be speaking Polish to respect my Polish heritage by saying that I'm deeply offended that PewDiePie doesn't record in Swedish anymore. Or has he ever recorded in Swedish? Let's make a petition, make PewDiePie Swedish again. This deeply offends my Swedish roots. I think everybody, every person ever should record in the language they speak as their native tongue. People should not learn languages or practice or publicly speak other languages on YouTube because it is just disrespectful to Swedish people. <laughs> Jake and Logan Paul, have they ever tried disrespecting their audiences by recording in a foreign language? Ah! Excuse me, sir. The game seems to be malfunctioning. Much old broken, though. Okay, South Korea. Small camera shop. It's so cute. Coffee design books art shop. Best things in life in one place. I ordered a huge serving of coffee, but I wasn't expecting this. This has got to be one of the fanciest cafes I've seen. so relaxing to be out of Japan. Excuse me for the comparison. Being in Japan is like holding in a fart. Whenever I leave Japan for a few days, I'm like... Phew. Japan is stressful. Just this general pressure that every social interaction there is is expected to go perfectly smooth. Everyday situations are stressful in Japan. That's why Japanese people are so stressed. In here it's much more laid back. People make eye contact. 
it's also nice. I stare at people and they stare back at me and then I'm like, whoa, shit, this is not Japan anymore. Are you guys aware, I'm talking to no non-Polish people now, are you aware of the Slavic squat? This thing? Is that a thing? I had a horrible realization with Korean food today and my ketogenic diet. Turns out kimchi is kind of heavy on carbs and this really breaks my heart. <laughs> I really like kimchi. I I was really hoping to have a lot of kimchi in Korea. It's not gonna work out for me. The struggle is real. It's raining. We saw a sign that said great people drink coffee or something like this. Right? And you disagree. I disagree because I bet so many different types of people drink coffee. I bet like you know, murderers drink coffee too. So that's all I gotta say about that. When you come to Korea, you have to try their Italian food. I don't know if that's true actually, but, <laughs> but this place is pretty good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And that's Rydia. I'm not wearing any makeup though. is full of cheese. Well, I don't know if that's true for everybody. I think it depends on the lifestyle you choose. And this is the night life. five minutes ago. Well, I'm not getting snacks because they're not ketogenic. The struggle. We're back in the same area right now. There's a DDP is over there. Remember how it used to look during the day? Now it looks completely different. All around Dongdaemu, actually where we're standing, there are fashion malls, but these fashion malls are most active from like 8 p.m. until 5 in the morning. It's like if you're fashionable, you shop here because it has like fashions before the other places get them. Fashion week takes place in this area too. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, if you look at like fashion week photos, it's like almost always on the back of Dongdae Moons and uh, plazas. And now we're gonna take you on an extensive tour of one of the malls. I'm joking, I, I don't wanna do that. Let's just have a snack, you guys. Let's have a shashwitek. Yesterday I had a super spicy, spicy, spicy version with six pepper size. I didn't eat the whole thing, but today my stomach hurts for the entire day for the parts that I chose to eat. The lesson here is don't fuck with Korean spiciness. We're gonna use this rain to take some nice pictures. We wanna post more on Instagrams these days. It's a good spot. at night in Asian ah, rain at ah, rain at night in Asian cities amazing so beautiful that, so much in here is that your impression of me is <laughs> yeah. that what I say yeah. Yeah. Funny because these places where we where we're taking these pictures, I'm pretty sure they're like karaoke hostess clubs with some extra services on the side. 
If you know what I mean. If you know what I mean. <laughs> seems to be close to Uzbekistani neighborhood which is there is I, like an Uzbekistani neighborhood in Dongdaemun I was not I was not gonna, expecting to ever say this sentence in my life but there is ah, the spring feels nice it looks very nice pretty warm Kombi. Maybe that's good. Cacao talk. No, this one's funny. You know that this is supposed to be a lion without a mane? <laughs> I don't know what it is about these dirty gutters of Asian cities, but I just love them so much. I love this type of footage. I love it in Tokyo, in here, in Shanghai, everywhere in Asia. Come to think of it, it's all really disgusting and dirty, but it's just so cool. I'm gonna go to the roof of the hotel. This is cool. I like this city.